Hey guys, welcome to my video. So, I just posted a newer video on this motor uh, with all the different rotor configurations that I tried on it. And then I thought I'd just put it back together um, with the rotor that I originally designed for it. And um, so, if you haven't seen the previous video, I'd suggest watching those first. But So basically, the regular brush configuration um, has so much resistance that it actually um, robbed the rotor of about 60% energy. So these obviously weren't going to work. Uh, I think these are for a higher voltage. So like I said, I, I changed them up that I showed these on the previous video. So I made them with copper buses and I just did a real simple independent where it's split in the middle and then I just used some rubber bands to hold the tension and it actually works really nice. It's um, very simple simple for testing things out. So um, this motor is all repulsion so the rotor and the stator are in repulsion mode so they're just going to be pushing along and uh, I don't have all the coils on it but I have two on each side and then we're just using this optical timing um, time everything so these aren't timing these are just slip rings to give power to the rotor and the rotor and the stator are connected in series so it's like a series wound motor and then um, of my typical MOSFET circuit and we're running 24 volts and we have a pulse width modulator and then output going into here which is discharging 36 volts um, into this battery and you'll be able to see the cap dump on there so let's um, just fire this thing up and you guys can see how it goes so it's only turning on you know about 20 percent of the time right now and um, I have the pulse width running on it so we could kind of chop up the on time and it uses quite a bit of power to get that rotor energized as well as the stator so we're kind of pulsing between between one and four right now um, output's pretty nice so let's um, start turning this thing up so it actually runs pretty good these little rubber band tensioners actually make it really nice um, if it was more permanent I would just put some springs going to the side with light springs but you know, it's pretty cool so here's full power right here just cruising along pretty good um, it's about 2700 rpms using quite a bit of power we're about five and a quarter amps at 24 volts um, charging pretty decent but um, there's no pulse width involved so and um, torque is pretty good you could really load it up about eight amps probably about 15 amps to stall it out but yeah pretty cool as the first little prototype just doing a lot of learning and changing things around and I ended up putting a magnet rotor in here that you'll see in the previous video when it gets posted. But um, yeah, yeah, it's really nice. Here's our output going down. You can see the spikes coming off of them, kind of trailing back. And yeah, pretty cool. So this is the off, this is the on. Yeah, it's smooth. And you have the brush friction. <laughs> you guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.